This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, yeah, it's Alex, and it is the Ramble, and we're here until midnight tonight, from the uh, east coast of the United States, New York City, and uh, it is uh, cooling off a little bit in New York, but I still have the air conditioning on. We have had, uh, I don't want to complain because you people out in California have been suffering uh, an amazing heat wave. Uh, and uh, uh, we out here have been going through the same thing, but not to that extreme. I heard, uh, my fr- I have a business manager who lives in uh, Larkspur, California. Now I grew up in Marin County for years. And uh, in all those years, I can't remember the temperature ever getting beyond 100. And he told me the other day where he lived, it was 104 degrees. This is getting terrible. It's getting just terrible. But, you know, there are some people who don't believe there's such a thing as global warming going on. And, of course, uh, you know, uh, one of those people uh, I'm going to bring in right now because he's uh, he's pain in the ass and he'll probably tell you that there's nothing to worry about here there's no such thing as global warming and his name is phil meyer there he is folks hello phil how are you all right i've got a picture of the bay area behind me yeah yeah Uh, yeah you know it's uh currently it's 93 but it was 106 today uh, wow, 106. How bad? How bad was it in San Francisco? Because you live uh, in you live in uh, I live in Walnut Creek, Walnut which, Creek, which gets hot. It's next to Death Valley. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see, San Francisco. I'm not. Uh, I gotta. I gotta get over to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I think it was hot in San Francisco. Well, wait a minute. I've got a. Uh, I've got a. Uh, my own uh, iPhone here which got the has the various temperatures and i have san francisco in here uh let me see here see me san francisco well right now it's only 69 degrees oh that would be such a pleasure 69 degrees uh, but it also is uh it's approaching uh uh what uh uh eight o'clock at night out there uh yeah yeah it's yeah. 7 30. 7 30. okay so, so uh, now, I had the audio turned down when you were doing your intro. Were you talking about the temperatures in New York? Uh, yeah, the temperatures in New York have been, been, been pretty terrible all the way around, you know. Uh, and uh, what, 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 what is somebody here asking me? What is, what is Alan writing me a message for while I'm trying to do a goddamn show? He says he can't beat off at this, uh, with this high temperature. Oh, I see. Uh, is that what he wrote? No. Probably. <laughs> uh, well, I can't, I can't get his message now. Uh, what is it? Uh, it is, it's so hot. How uh, hot is it? Well, I've got this, uh, this stuff that uh, I got on a flight to Korea. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, I spray it on my face. What you do is uh, uh, you just do one of these things and miss you with... Uh, what kind of water is this? Natural mineral water. It's probably got lead in it because it, it doesn't say it was made in China, though. Yeah. He just, he, just, he just sent me something. It doesn't make any sense. He sent oh, me something, too. I, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Let me it. see here if I can find it. Oh, uh, 70 degrees in San Francisco. Image. 70. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's, I, and it's partly cloudy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that must be San Francisco. Well, it was here in New yeah. York. Uh, it was down around 73, and there was a very little humidity until the evening, and now it's kind of humid. Well, really they're strange. telling us that uh, not to run any equipment between 4 and 9, or electronic equipment, between 4 and 9 in the evening. So, uh, and they're talking about rolling blackouts and... Uh, Electronic equipment. By that, what do they mean? Air because, conditioning. Okay. Uh, stove, refrigerator. Okay. Well, I guess refrigerator you got to run, but... 
but you know, appliance. but your computer's fine. Oh, only if they don't have a rolling blackout. Well, if, well uh, yeah. Well, they're, they're going to tell us to uh, to to buy in California electric cars by 2035. No internal combustion cars will be allowed to be sold. As well, new. They, I think they will allow the uh, hybrids. Yeah. There will be a certain amount of gas consuming, but it, 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 it will cut back on it, you know. Do you, do you, ever, do you ever walk down, uh, well, in I, where I live. Turn up your mic just a little bit. There, there's a part, you can turn my white mic down. Oh, up. up. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right, is that better? That, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, w what the what the situation is is I have a parking garage below my building, and it has hundreds of spaces. And you know, you walk in there, and if there's a lot of people with EVs, these are like you know uh, battery powered vehicles, they don't have a sound. They make some sort of little electric whirring sound, so you can hear them and not get run over. But uh, you know, it's. Yeah. It's uh, they're telling us, don't run your dishwasher, don't uh, uh, do the laundry, don't do things because uh, we're having problems with the grid. Can you imagine when everyone has to charge their EV vehicle? Yeah. And yeah. And you know that'll bring everything to a halt. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it will. I mean, uh, but I don't know. I don't know if it's. Will it be using the same amount of electricity? Though is the question. It'll it'll use more. Well, I no, I don't think so. I mean, how is that? Well, well I mean, you, you know, just because something uh, is is being plugged in and being used, uh, it's not using the same amount of, of electricity as something else. Well, For instance, as an little. example, as an example, if you have anything in your house that you mm -hmm. can touch and is hot to the touch, that's on, that's costing you money. Sure. Okay. Like, I'll give you a good example. Uh, cable you know, box? Cable boxes are one of the most expensive things in your home, and they've never made them energy efficient. Uh, they I still use up about... Are people still using them? They use about, what is it, $9 worth of electricity a month? Now, do you have cable boxes? or you Yes, I do. Uh, well, I'm not using cable anymore. I am mm -hmm. streaming uh, through the Fire Stick. And uh, I used to use a Roku, but uh, I don't get certain channels uh, uh, anymore through, through the Roku, so I switched to the Fire Stick. And uh, so I just use the Internet, the Fire Stick, and I have a service called uh, YouTube TV, mm -hmm. which uh, gives me just about everything I could I'm want. I'm probably going to use Hulu, because with Hulu, you get, uh, th you get the Disney package added yeah. on, okay? Uh, and uh, also, uh, you know, it, it, uh, I, I just have, have been very happy with Hulu until the other day. They're raising it a buck. A buck? Try well, three bucks. My in my case, it's, my, my case, it's two bucks. Really? Yeah, because I have the non-commercial thing, okay, where you, you run it commercial free. And yeah. it's going up to fourteen ninety nine. And, wow. and Disney already said they're going up like three dollars, and I'm going, you know, enough is enough already. You know, wh what point? And so, I'm thinking about cutting out the cable, okay, yeah. getting rid of it completely, and and going with these services. But you know what I'm cutting back on? Netflix. Who's? Netflix. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, that's I, that's I, the I, next that's the next thing. I um I had to change my credit card because it got compromised so they gave me a new number and so i get an email from hulu saying that they need you know they need to charge my card so i push cancel and that was a day or two ago and then i get the thing that they want to raise the price but every day i'm still getting the thing the email that they want to they want to charge my card and I'm saying to myself, you know, this is one more thing. I think Netflix is going to be the next one to go. I think eventually I'm going to have YouTube TV, mm -hmm. which gives me just about everything you can imagine. And then uh, 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 the Prime, uh, the Prime Video. I like the Prime Video, and it comes with, uh, I use Amazon. Well, so I'm, it, but I'm getting, I'm getting rid of uh, Netflix uh, 
in their uh, 4K version. They're oh. charging five bucks for the 4K. Hulu gives you 4K for free. You know, they don't charge you more for 4K. Yeah. Uh, Disney doesn't charge you more for 4K. Nobody charges more for 4K except Netflix. Yeah. So to screw them, I'll go to I'll go to their uh, 1080p version. I, well, we don't care. And Marjorie isn't watching Netflix as much as she used to. She's watching Hulu more. Really? Yeah. 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 I I, I did. Uh, Hulu didn't come up automatically. I actually had to speak into mm -hmm. the Fire Stick and say Hulu, and then it, it would come up, and then I could uh, choose. You only get so many channels that you can highlight on that Fire Stick. But yeah. it, it's it's been fine. Well, I would I'll tell you uh, I I would go back to the Roku. I don't know what you what couldn't you get on the Roku? Fox. What? I think it was Fox News. You'd get Fox News on on uh... um there was some well there was a time when the Roku wasn't uh, allowing certain certain channels on and I think it was Fox. I never had a time when I couldn't get Fox on my on my yeah. Roku. Uh, through the Roku, you well, you oh, may have always gotten it through your cable. No, provider. but no, but I'm saying that uh, I don't think they ever blacked it out because all Hulu wants to do is make money. Oh, oh, you know, it was um, uh, what, what's that streaming service, Slingbox or Sling? Yeah, Sling TV. So I had Roku with the Sling TV, mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to get. Um, they were having some issue with either Sling or Fox or one of the channels that I watched. So I uh, I switched to the Fire Stick. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also got rid of Sling and went to the YouTube TV, which is, it's more money, but it's much better. Uh, it uh, There's um, some of these economists on YouTube that, uh, you know, look for bargains. Mm -hmm. And uh, the best bargain was uh, YouTube TV. Uh, I think that uh, Hulu is about the same, yeah. Except you pay more for no commercials, so that comes to eighty-two dollars. The new charge will be eighty-two dollars, but you also get Disney Plus, you get the Hulu, and you yeah. get the ESPN Plus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, well, so I, I wouldn't want to miss a football game. And, well, that, that's for starters. Well, Marjorie watches tennis, and all yeah. the games are on. On uh, on on ESPN Plus. Well, so you ever get one of those Pong units and punk, 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 punk? You know, it sounds just like the tennis. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's not get into that. <laughs> it's not a popular discussion around this house. <laughs> I would imagine. Hey, uh, I heard the other day that you're uh, you're doing the same thing I'm doing. What? Uh, D. Brock's uh, earwax removal. No. Oh, I uh, I heard uh, on your nice show you were talking about uh, uh, doing the ear earwax removal thing. No. no. No? Maybe it was an older show. It wasn't had, my had show. No? Okay. Had you done it lately? No. Oh, all right. Yeah, I, uh, I went into uh, Kaiser and I wanted them to clean my ears. One, one of them felt itchy. Mm -hmm. So uh, the guy looks in there and he says, it's very dry. He says, you need to use this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going back next Monday and they'll, uh, they'll flush it out. Tonight I start with the drops. And, uh, you know, so that's, that's my medical minute. Oh, How okay. you been doing? No, okay. You know, my, my, in spite of the uh, shot that I had, the uh, the uh, did it help? It's no, it's kind of coming back a little bit, you know. That happens. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna live with it, you know. Uh, try the Theraputty. That's uh, no, that that's... doesn't do anything. Believe me, no, believe me. This is this is hand. this is arthritis. This is not. Yeah, a, well, I have it too. Lack of strength in the hand. Yeah. Did you did you watch that uh, thing I sent you on the gabapentin? And what the side effects were? I've known that forever. Everybody knows uh, that. Well, I didn't know. I, I've never taken it. Yeah, no, I've known that for the longest time. I stopped taking gabapentin because I didn't tolerate it well. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, the trouble is I've been taking this stuff called um, uh, pregabalin, um, which is a Jerry Lewis uh, 
Yeah, P- they all pill. are. Well, no, they aren't. Gabapentin isn't a Jerry Lewis word. You uh, can't go Gabapentin. Uh, that's not pregabalin. That's yeah. a, that's a Jerry Lewis word. Anyway, um, air aspirin is not but, a Jerry, but, but, Jerry Lewis. But word. I I I uh, 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 stopped taking the pregabalin and started getting really very lightheaded. Uh, you froze. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, uh, so I stopped taking the pregabalin. And uh, I was getting lightheaded, and I couldn't see straight and everything. And I went for a couple of days figuring that would pass, and it didn't pass. So I started taking the pregabalin again, and I felt better the next day. Good. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I guess I'm stuck with taking the pregabalin. Yeah. But I think if I quit it, I'm going to do it like one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, and then I'm going to go like two days off, one day on, you know, and try it that way. Well, I'm trying, you know, Rob Alfano told me about uh, intermittent fasting, and I'm already down six pounds, and it's very easy to do. Basically, you have a window that you can eat, uh, so I uh, my last meal is at five o'clock, my first meal is at noon. You're down six pounds, that's bullshit. Well, it's been a... It's been I can lose a six pounds in three days. Yeah. Uh, if I initially I, go on a on a low carb diet, within mm-hmm. three days I'm down about six to eight pounds. Well, I am I am uh, eating pre plated meals. Well, uh, but see that doesn't matter. I'm saying that you know you say I lost six pounds. What's that for you? It's a spit in the goddamn ocean. Well, I've been I've been doing vigorous exercise for a year and I haven't lost anything. Now I've gotten smaller. My waist has gotten smaller, but. Uh, and I've gotten stronger with this CrossFit stuff, but this uh, in, in, intermittent fasting has also allowed me, in the last week, I've cut down on uh, diabetes meds. And my numbers are totally fine right now. Well, Instead if you do low thinking, carb, if you do low carb, your diabetes numbers will be down. Yeah. If, if you just well, go I've, strictly low carb, your, yeah. your, 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 uh, your, your, the diabetes numbers will be terrific. Well, I'm basically doing that. I mean, it's a, a protein, a vegetable, and uh, uh, I just gave up dieting, and I'm not lo- I'm not gaining anything. So, yeah, the pants are still fitting. So, well, you know, there's uh, uh, there was another uh, Gabnet exclusive. Um, I uh, I went to my acting coach, and uh, I asked him uh, to, acting you know, coach. To, you have an acting coach. Yeah, uh, Ray Renati. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in sales, mm-hmm. uh, you have to greet a customer with uh, a very positive attitude. And sometimes, and that's really done with a smile, but sometimes I am in the midst of doing other stuff, and if a customer comes in, it might be an interruption in the back of my mind. So Ray told me about uh, different ways that I can bring forth certain emotions to, uh, to, to give a genuine smile. And you know what? It works. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, customers uh, get much more relaxed when, when you can greet them uh, with uh, the, the, a, genuine, uh, a genuine smile. You know, and that's and that's an opening for most. Is it salesmen. genuine, or I mean? Yeah, I, it is genuine because you're you're really you're you're bringing it up and you're looking at them and saying, "This is somebody that needs needs my help, and I'm glad that they're here." And uh, so you know, you look at how them long and, how long have you been a salesman? Forty years. And it took you this long to figure that one out? No, uh, I've always known you had to have a smile. But and and even if I answer the phone, I have a mirror. I look in the mirror mm-hmm. and I make sure I smile before I answer the phone, mm-hmm. so that I don't answer it. Ah, what do you want? Yeah, you know. And um, but uh, I've never been able to turn on a dime and uh, you know just bring forth the kind of emotion that you have to bring forth to really be genuine. Mm-hmm. And uh, it it worked. I have to thank Ray. Uh, not only did I see him in a play, and he was great, mm-hmm. but he really is is very talented. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, there, there's, you know, so between Rob and Ray, uh, my life is, uh, is, is very positive. Uh, but, uh, but, okay, well, you can thank Gabnet for that. That's right. And, uh, you, know, I, uh, you know, I was also looking at uh, a 2014 Gabnet uh, panel. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had uh, Patrick and me and Charlie and a bunch of other people. It looked like it was from uh, it was recorded with VHS tape, but uh, you know, it, it, when I when I when I looked at it, it wasn't for, very different from your nice show. You know, if 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 you look at some some of the earlier shows and the things that people talked about. Well, on the, it, one of the differences on the nice show is we have a considerably more women on the show yeah you know we have four women on the show regularly yeah, yeah. where we don't uh, have any on this one well we we used to uh, well that's until you started calling more yeah no well, you had renee and you had uh charlene and uh, and a few others but uh i i you know i don't think that it it's what i do that pushes them off but uh you know uh, I, the only other things I wanted to mention mm -hmm. was uh, Bannon. I guess they're going to indict Bannon in New York, and uh, he's he's ready to fight. And uh, Bannon supposedly took a million dollars from the Build the Wall Fund. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, he I thought he donated that to Black Lives Matter because those guys took ten million out of the ninety. Out of what ninety? Well, Black Lives Matter uh, uh, brought in $90 million in donations uh, and in the period of time that they, they did it. And supposedly the uh, people who were the leaders of this Black Lives Matter uh, siphoned off $10 million. And where did you hear that? Uh, on the, the radio. On the radio? Well, on the TV. On what you know. TV? Well, of course, the Truth Network, Fox News. Because I haven't even heard you that. You discredit anything that comes no, from... No, I haven't heard that story. Well, how could you not hear that story? I have, did not hear this. I did not, I did not hear the story. Really? Yeah. Uh, so uh, if, you, uh, if you Googled... Uh, and by the way, by uh, the way, yeah. let's say it is true. You're doing yeah. what you always do. You're trying to counter one argument... With the, well, somebody else did that. Well, that's not the point. The point is that Bannon is being charged with the fact that he stole money, that he had money coming in for the, uh, you know, save build the, the save, wall, build the wall, and none of it went to build the wall. It went to build a wall around his compound or something. You no, know, I, I don't know uh, what what he did with the money, but uh, uh, you know, it looks like they're trying to go after Trump and his minions in any way that they can and um, oh yeah yeah oh yeah. oh nuclear secrets could it be that they actually are crooks no could uh, it be that they they actually were crooks Phil I, I don't think so oh. now they oh, said uh, that Trump had nuclear secrets nuclear right nuclear nuclear yeah well, I went on Google and I uh, Googled atomic bomb, and they give you the plans on how to do it. Well, because so, that, how old's that information? Well, 1945. No, every, but, any country knows how to build a nuclear device. That's so, not the point. This is what Trump did. Nuclear secrets could be on, things he, like where we have missiles and things yeah. like that, you know, stuff like that. No, he, he printed out the, uh, the nuclear plans on how to build an atomic bomb. He stuffed it in one of those empty folders, and he sold it to some, you know, uh, nefarious power. Uh, you know, some bad guys. Uh, you know, that, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Nothing. Listen, you I, know, want you, I want you to watch a documentary. What's that? You're willing to watch? Do you, do you, do you have anything against PBS? No. Okay. On Frontline this week, we just watched it today is an episode called Lies, Politics, and Democracy. All right. I want you to watch that and then tell me where it's wrong. Okay. Uh, I'll write that down. Lies, politics, politics, and democracy. And democracy. Uh, is it narrated by Hillary Clinton? No, it's narrated by the guy that always does the front line. 
generation. Yeah. I, I forget his name now, but he's a he's an actor. Well, you know, I figure PBS is all right because they had comedy tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I want you to watch that and and, yeah. and see if you don't come away with a certain questions certain questions about Donald Trump and even his sanity. Uh, is you this know. a Netflix uh, thing or no? It's it's PBS. Oh, PBS. Okay. PBS. If you if you have a PBS app or something like that, you can watch it. It's lies, right. politics, and democracy. It's really all right. It's really I'll a rather that. stunning piece of of, uh, of work. Uh, oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's not nice to Trump, but I want you to watch it and see the the evidence they line up about the way he has acted and the way he has treated this democracy and the way he has attempted to undermine democracy. Well, th this is the narrative that uh, Schiff and uh, the, the, uh, the, the left want you to believe. Well, no, this isn't a narrative, Phil. He actually has done everything he can to undermine democracy and to make this essentially a dictatorship. Well, I, didn't he say in 2016 that he was going to flush the swamp out and that uh, uh, and he was going to undermine or go... No, he just simply uh, brought in a new swamp, that's all. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll see what kind of swamp he brought I mean, in. Watch the, watch the uh, lies, the politics, and what politics. it does to our democracy. It's really, right. it's really very good. It's a, and, okay, and I, I'll, I'll I'd like it. you to watch it and get your feeling on it. You know? Okay. You know. I'll report next Wednesday. You will? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see here. Let me just let some people in here. Got anybody waiting? Oh, yeah. I've got a couple. Usual suspects. But uh huh. That's fine with me. You know. All I, right. You get my name out of the. Uh, yeah, I, I got it out of there. All right. Um, but what we're trying to. Oh, there, there, there's not that, Brian. Not that we want to burn you, Phil, or anything like that, but I had a few friends, including Phil, over for cigars and munchies. <clears throat> and cigars and munchies. And I opened up this one-pound bag of Godiva dark chocolate, and Phil ate about 90% of the bag on his own. <laughs> oh, is this, is this part of his new diet? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, okay. dark, dark chocolate. chocolate as much as you want. Dark chocolate's good for you. Well, I was having port. I brought a really good bottle of port. And if you take a bite of chocolate and a swig of port, it's 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 delicious. It's a good thing the port doesn't have any sugar in By it. By the way, which one, the port or the chocolates? Well, they were both pretty good. <laughs> I mean, he get, they come in, in little individual packets, and he, like, had the whole bowl next to him full of the packets empty. why do you even buy those things why do you even have sugar in your system because he, he's he's got to keep his svelte figure that's right well, no i'm just uh, you know I, in spite of the fact that i'm not dieting right now i still don't touch sugar you know well if you if you take one it's like being a heroin addict you know you you know you go from one bag a day to two two to three three to four pretty soon you're selling well, your also, mother just also to get what sugar more what sugar does besides all the bad things that it can do to you it also makes you hungry so that you you have a hunger from from mm -hmm. having sugar so the more sugar you eat the more hungry you get well dark chocolate isn't full of sugar what 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 do you, what, what what is that brian I had to change my shirt because I'm feeling harassed and uncomfortable by Charlie's shirt. <laughs> oh, Super Bowl champs, huh? Oh, Cowboys, I like it. Yeah, one time they were Super Bowl champs. And the last time we'd have to get it five times. We would have to get a VCR to watch your last Super Bowl, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't and think I, we have VCRs I anymore. Have How are we gonna watch it? VHS tape. And How are we gonna watch it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So last night I'm walking around and uh, I, 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 I stub my toe. And, and I, even though my feet are a little numb from the neuropathy, I'm still feeling it, it hurts, you know. And then I look down at it this morning, it's all black and blue. Now, didn't you say that your balance uh, 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 was possibly off because of earwax? No. Hey, what the hell was I listening to? Sugar. 
No, I've never said that. I said I, I went to see if it was my hearing that was causing it or something in my ears, and they determined no, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. And, it, okay. and they didn't make you take the no, drug, no, the, the no, drug? no, no. You bought that stuff for no reason at all. Uh, no, 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 I bought no, it because the doctor told me to, because I have to have it for four days coming Monday. No, I have to go. I have to go to a doctor about uh, therapy, physical therapy, to to do certain things to get these rocks out of my ear canals, because they, uh, I know I have rocks in my head. Okay, no, but you get these little little pebbles that come loose and go into your ear canal, and that causes vertigo. And Is you, that you wax? have to get them back. No, it's not wax. It's something that's actually in the ear canal. It's at the top of the ear canal, and it gets dislodged and goes into the ear canal. No. Okay? And what you got to do is exercises to get it back in there. Uh, and uh, it's a whole a whole rigmarole. Like yeah, hemorrhoids of the ear? around in there with a the dental pick? No. No. <laughs> ah, you don't want to do that. No. No, but it, it so it, it throws you off balance. That's where positional ver I have positional vertigo, and that's where it comes from. So, mm. but I haven't gone to the doctor yet because he's all the way downtown. And you know what I no, hate about physical. But you know what I hate about physical therapy? It's the only thing in medicine where you have homework. Yeah. And I hate that. You yeah. know, if you can't do it for me while I'm there, then I don't want to have to do it when I get home. But they go, oh, and then you do this and do this. Now, come back and see me in a week. But in the meantime, do your exercises. And you go, wait a minute, I got homework? What is this? Is high school? You know, so. Yeah. Anyway, so. Um, but. Uh, uh, didn't uh, Brian go to a car show recently? Always. Uh, Always, every company. weekend. <laughs> oh, every weekend. Yeah. Yeah, he likes car shows. Phil just learned how to use Facebook in the past couple of days, Brian. Yeah. How, oh, yeah. You could use a little <laughs> more volume on your end there. Uh, uh, Alan, Alan, just turn it down. No, up. Yeah, hit the thing that says mute. <laughs> <laughs> then you can say Trump all you want. Is that better? Anyway. So what's been ha what's, ha what's been happening in the news that's exciting and worth talking about? I don't know. There's not much going on. Well, a Trump appointed lawyer decided that Trump is special. Oh, he's he's a bigot and a, and a, and a racist because Trump. he's appointed a special master. And so uh, wait a minute, you know. he doesn't appoint a special master. Well, no, no, he got somebody to appoint a special master, so he must be running the plantation. Yeah, right. Well, anyway, uh, well, I don't. Here's what I don't understand: no. the Justice Department, right? They got lawyers up the ass. Why didn't one of them say, you know, you were appointed by Donald Trump to this post, and uh, you should di disqualify yourself from being involved in this case? Don't they, you they think huh? that Trump is it, it should be afforded the same kind of protections that anyone else? Absolutely, would but not be given a judge who owes him something. Right. Uh, the judge. They, he is not went, they one. went. They went around. His lawyers went yep. around shopping for this judge. They yes, went they 20, 50, 40, 50 miles out of their way just, to go. Like when we finish, to go yeah. find this judge who had been appointed by Trump. Just like the judge that issued the war uh, the search warrant for Mar-a-Lago, you're, you're doing that all over again, Phil. You're bringing up no, another. Uh, you're bringing up another sin to try and disqualify well, the sin well, I'm talking about. If that sin's about. no good, why is your sin? Why is Trump's sin no good? Phil, you got to turn your mic down a little bit, please. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so one of the things Business News today said is that uh, the Justice Department has enough to indict. Trump. Uh, and business news. Business That's monkey news. business news. Business news. It's worse than that. The Trump lawyer that made this decision was appointed after the 2020 election. Uh, she was confirmed after the 2020 uh, election. She was appointed she was after. And then she was appointed too. by Trump prior 
to uh, January 20. Uh, well, let me put it this way. I, I think uh, why the Justice Department hasn't said you should recuse yourself from this because you have a dog in the game. You know, maybe they did. And the judge refused to recruit. Refused well, I don't know if they did or didn't. But, but Alex, the judge that uh, allowed for the special master is not the one that is the special master. No, well, we're not well, saying we, that. We're not saying that, Phil. We're saying the judge who said that she could let him have a, a, a special master. And, uh, uh, and, and every legal scholar on TV has been saying that the judge gave bogus reasoning for making that decision. I don't know. I heard the legal scholars uh, that said that it, it, it was uh, a fine move. Yeah, who was that? Rudy Giuliani? Dershowitz. Rudy oh, Dershowitz. oh, Dershowitz and Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, Dershowitz. Herschel Walker. Herschel, Herschel Walker. Walker. <laughs> did you, yeah, did you hear I, I like Herschel his Walker? position. What? Hey. I like, I like Herschel Walker's position. Okay, hold position. on a second, Phil. Let, his, let his, his latest one was inflation is only affecting women because they're the one that goes grocery shopping. <laughs> is that his uh, latest thought, theory? That's what he said. He I thought his position was running back. Uh, he didn't do very still, well on that, did he? Phil, I still haven't heard a quote from you. Well, from Herschel cost... Walker that you agree with. A quote, not not a, a, pla a platform, not anything okay. else but a quote. He said he's going to represent the people, and, and it's what the people wait want. A minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second. Just, just, just back off a little bit here. He mm -hmm. said he was going to represent the people? Isn't, the people isn't that for. what you're supposed to do? That's right, and that's what he's going to Washington to do. Oh, well, that, that's he's a great right? quote. Uh, that's but never heard that before yeah i mean but i'm gonna i'm gonna represent you uh, he, and, and that's what his is job done? what what has warnock done except vote 100 percent of the time with biden and pelosi what what has he brought to the party what what how how is he so great who's warnock that's the guy that uh, uh is is running against and he's a current Senator in Georgia. Oh, oh, well, he'll win again. Raphael Warnock. Because uh, 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 Herschel, uh, what's his name? Walker. Walker. Uh, he is... can't even make a complete sentence. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't think there's a lot of them that can make complete sentence. Look at this guy, Federlin. Fetter, Fetterman. Again, there you go. There you go. Because, no, no, because you just is, there's nothing it. wrong with the fact that Herschel Walker can't make a sentence because somebody else I know can't make oh, a sentence. Well, Fetterman had, had a stroke, and he's running against Dr. Oz, and he doesn't know where he is. He's in a similar state he, of mind. Believe as me. Biden. Believe me. He knows more where he is than Dr. Oz does because if Dr. Oz knew where he was, he should be in New Jersey where he lived, not Pennsylvania where he didn't live. Oh, so he's a carpetbagger like Hillary who lived in Arkansas. Hey, but I, often, I often was bothered by Hillary coming to New York to be a And, and Charlie's ripping on Herschel Walker and his Cowboys drafted him, so then he must hey, think he's really bad. We got draft picks for him. That yeah, was one of the best deals ever made yeah, by that, the football coach. That built your dynasty, uh, Charlie. Yeah. All those draft picks you got to inspire. Yeah, maybe so. Was good enough to take that deal. <laughs> so Herschel Walker was good. At, uh, well, when they traded him. Yeah. yeah, he was a good running back. Oh, he was a great running back. He set all those records in Georgia. I think you got Emmett Smith in with one of those draft picks. I think Walker. so. Yeah. 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 Uh, Alex loves this conversation. Alan, no, that's Alan, fine. I can just sit back and do nothing. <laughs> Alan, so, you have to say Herschel Walker. Was yes. the, one of the best backs I ever seen in college, Charlie. When he yeah. played for Georgia, yeah, I watched. Whenever he was on TV, forget it. He was like must see TV. Okay, we're, we're talking be. about being a senator, not a bonehead uh, football oh, player I, 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 getting I, I, your I brains know, bashed in every. Side. What do you think is going to get elected? Huh? Alan, take it from people love him. I no, no, he, he's way up. behind, Phil. Yeah. Haven't you seen the the polls? He's way behind. The, I, you know, uh, okay. Lenin, I think it was off. Lenin said that it doesn't matter who votes, it matters who counts the votes. <laughs> he did tell me that, yeah. Was that John Lennon? I think you're muted, no. Bill. So Adam, you, Vladimir. You brought up Dr. Oz. Len, Dr. Nikolai. Oz is in the news today. What? Yeah. yeah. Dr. Oz 
when when uh, Trump was uh, uh, saying using hydro whatever the the drug is, yeah. hydrochloroquine. Uh, we find out that Dr. Oz says, yeah, that works. Why? Because he owns 30% of the pharmaceutical company that sells that drug. Correct. And of course, that it, drug is... Big. Why is it, Phil, that you always seem to be on the side of people with absolutely no moral conscience? Well... I mean, is that, a, is, that a, is that a qualification for you? Absolutely. I think that drug is available <laughs> at the GabNet store. It, it's available for the right for the right illness, not for not for COVID. Is that true that Ray's his acting coach that you told him that? Who Ray? Ray Renati. He would he's gonna be Montgomery Killer too, Ray, I feel. <laughs> yes, uh, so, Brian. So, so the other thing that I have that I had to drink tonight, I'm almost drunk. Thank God there's no alcohol. I don't drink, but I'm gonna it, is, is Phil, the whole the whole twenty thirty, the whole twenty thirty is fifty percent of cars. To be sold have to be electric or hybrid plug-in i thought 50%. it was no no gas no, 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 50 percent. so Ooh. they say like the small and mid-sized cars but all these trucks and all that stuff do not have to be but it's 50 percent. 50 percent good thing is phil the way you're going you won't be around at 20. yeah well i i was watching jay leno's garage and elon musk rolled out with a uh tractor trailer that mm -hmm. was electric. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Uh, I've seen expensive those cars. Well, oh, they're no, very expensive. Tractor trailer is not a car, Tony. No, I know. I mean, in general, the the electric cars are not going to really take off unless they come down in price. Oh, they, oh, they, 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 they you come here. They, wait till you come here, Phil. Yeah. Your really? neck, your neck will spin to see how many Teslas are here. Just Teslas. Oh, really? Now when you understand the all these other cars are hybrids or plug or, or full electric, you it's crazy numbers here. They must have had something. Hey, Ray. They must have had something going on uh, at the Madonna Inn because they have a bunch of Tesla <laughs> charging stations, and they must have, they probably had seventy Teslas in a row trying to get to those charging stations to charge up. Uh, was, when were you at the Madonna Inn? I was. I saw it on a video. Oh, I see. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Charlie. What? What? So every softball field in Austin has installed at least five or six Ooh. electric charging stations. Yeah, wait till all over the place here in the Bay Area. Wait till half the cars, like Brian said, have to charge. Uh, they can't just pull up to the gas pump <clears throat> and, you know, five minutes later, pull out and continue on their trip. They have to have lunch and wait 45 minutes. And I know Brian or, agrees or with me. Or you can plug it in when you go to bed, huh? Uh, I don't know if uh, Brian <laughs> agrees with me on this, but I think that as time goes on, the price of electric cars will go down. Yeah. And they're going down now. You look at the Mustang Mach-E, you can get those for 45, 47,000, and, and they still have money, at least a few months ago, you're still getting like almost ten thousand dollars back from the government. Yeah, wow. the government will yeah. give you money for it too. And, and that and that's a nice car. Yeah. So you're you paying about thirty-five thousand dollars for the car. Yeah. Yeah. What do, you, uh, what, sorry. What, what do you think, Brian, of the Cadillac Lyric? Yeah, I like it. And there's the the sedan that's coming out that I posted. Yeah. Facebook. That one's like three hundred thousand, but that one is. Oh, cheap that's cheap. that's the concept <laughs> car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the concept car. But yeah, like Alex said, the prices are going to come down. Alex knows he's a techie. He he knows all those expensive things. Well, that all I know is that ten it, times it, it, when he got them, it's an absolute necessity, especially yeah. in California. I mean, if you don't think that f that the fires are caused by by uh, climatological problems, if you don't think that uh, the rainstorms and the floodings that we're getting is caused by that, I mean. All over this planet this year, we have had extreme weather conditions, and they're only getting worse from what they were last year. Something's got to stop. But in the okay. United States, we've got the cleanest air we've had uh, in, in, ever. That, uh, 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 I don't believe that has everything to do with it, Phil. Well, you still, it's, it's still going up. It's still going up into the atmosphere, and causing an impact. Uh, uh, the, our cars are uh, put out the least amount of uh, uh, emissions uh, that cars have ever put out. 
uh, you know, you look at Los Angeles. I'll let, I'll let Charlie, the physicist, answer that question. Yeah, for 30 me. years ago, you couldn't see the mountains in Los Angeles. Now the air is clear. That's smog. That's not carbon dioxide that's well, eating the planet. Well, well what do you think is, being, yeah. is the smog? No, uh, but I think the smog is, is the smog. What, what's eating the planet, uh, 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 Charlie? It's the CO2, and now methane is starting to become a problem. Well, yeah, you have stop to farting, Phil. Yes, yeah, I was going to say keep Alan inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You haven't gone electric yet, have you, Kevin? Or maybe you have. No. no. Well, I got a hybrid. But... You got a hybrid. Well, let's say you know, halfway. You're getting there, you know. Um, and and do you have a car, Tony? Actually, my brother has a car, and we kept my dad's car. But my brother would like an a hybrid, but. He don't want to, you know, his car is still good. He doesn't need it to go to work because he gets driven in. So Tony's we, father's car, Tony's father's car, car is a 1929 Essex. No, yeah, it's, I, I forgot, it's a Chevy. I forgot which one now. No, it's a Hot Mobile. I, 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 yeah, I it's, it's nothing to talk about. It's like basically new. He only took it was to go to the supermarket. That oh, was it was it. a Maxwell. You know what I, you know what I, what I want is a Stutz Bearcat. Yeah. No, my, my father never had a good, he always said, I like Chevy. It's, a, it's an American made. I remember him saying that. Yeah. It's interesting. Alex asked a simple question, yes or no. Do you have a car, Tony? Well, actually, theoretically. Yeah, I did ask you just a simple question. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then this you is went it. off and it, it, Are you, do you have a driver's out. license? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You do? Yes. What, to, to, to drive your friends crazy? <laughs> exactly, yeah. I actually do have a driver's license. I stopped driving years ago, but I, I'm going to take refresher courses soon, I think. Y yes, not gonna die. I yes, think yes, I'll learn yes Ray. You're muted, Ray. Yeah, I just need to make an observation that when anybody becomes a Trump supporter, they never answer questions directly <laughs> after that. Ever. You it's never like get a direct question. At ob <laughs> they no, that was a direct question to Tony. Yeah. Do you, you own a car? car? Yes and because no. now that he's a Trump supporter, he cannot answer the question directly. Uh, because he Trump, do it. because <laughs> Trump never, if, if Trump is accused of something, he never replies to it with a direct answer. He but always does things like Phil you? does and blames trained, somebody trained else. Well. What? Trained him well, Phil. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. See, Actually, Tony, you just did it again. You just did it again. Isn't that a true politician? Like, it's always <laughs> twisting, Tony, twisting. You're good. You're good. It never yeah. is. It's awesome. Good job. How Tony. about this? Doesn't Biden say uh, inflation is transitory, but it's not? Oh, that's right. He changes his tune. Oh, Tony, January 6th, they're going to have a get together at the Capitol. Oh, are you going to be there? I'm going to put it in my calendar. What, what do, do you mean a get together at the Capitol? <laughs> what are we taking down when we go? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean a get together at yeah, the Capitol? Yeah, it's, uh, that, I'm being facetious. Uh, Why don't you lend him you know, Since he's a new Trump Because, before, you know, right? in the old days, this is back in, I don't the, want to miss this is back in the 1800s, they used to actually invite people over to the White House oh, for really? the day to come on in and have some cookies. and that, How yeah. did that work for Aaron Burr and uh, Hamilton? Well, it got, they got made into a musical, you know. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hamilton's uh, like a quarter you of the way Tony towards to a... Uh, party uh, on January the 6th without a gun, Phil? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need a gun. Just go get the podium. Well, I think our mic went up again. I mean, really? Hamilton's one step away, uh, no. one step forward for getting a EGOT. So, you know. Alex, when Trump says fight for your fight like crazy... Should I ask him, what do you mean by that specifically? <laughs> Does that mean well, that means fight the like me. Are you fight joking? like you're crazy. <laughs> Trying to understand which way to go, Phil. Yeah. I just want to eat dinner later. I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> Trump lessons live yeah. on Gabnet. Yeah. yeah, Ray can teach you. He taught me. Yeah, what was I? Well, the reason I called is because I was listening. I turned on, all of a sudden I heard my name. What was that? Oh, I was thanking you for your wonderful instruction. I said Gabnet provided my acting lessons, and uh, you know, teach me how to smile. No, you said uh, Ray did. Okay. Alex said that's because of Gabnet. Get your yes. story right. So I said, you know, okay, Gabnet gotcha. has afforded me all sorts of good things. Intermittent fasting I got from Ray, oh, um, from Ma Rob Alfano. Uh, acting yeah, lessons man. I got from Ray. Uh, I, you know, this is pretty good stuff. Is it acting like a Republican? 
Well, no, I don't have to act to do that. <laughs> that comes That's naturally. Trump. You watch Trump every day. You'll learn that really well. Yeah, no, that, that, that comes naturally. Hmm. But, uh, you know, there's some talent here. Yeah, it was, it was interesting that, that uh, Trump went out to the Midwest or somewhere to go, you know, stump for some guy who's running for senator out there or something. And the whole speech was about him. There was nothing in that speech talking about the guy who was running for office. Do you think anybody <laughs> went to that uh, rally to see the other guy? Uh, was that Mastriano? It doesn't uh, matter. It, it doesn't about, matter. Like, Isn't that a no. bit rude? You know, it's always oh, about no, him. It's no, always no. about him. Well, if you bought tickets for Trump's rally, you want to see Trump. I know, but I mean, the other guy is just, you know, just a guest. Were they charging for it? Uh, I think you got to get tickets. Then, then, really? The way they do it, you get tickets. I think free. free. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure they're them. free. But you you have to you, in the previous rallies, you had to register online and get a ticket. Hmm. Anyway. Don't you remember there was one rally where uh, uh, the left bought up or, t or registered for all the tickets and then didn't show up, so the rally was empty? Oh, is that the excuse why it was empty? Oh, is that true? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Is that the excuse there, why it's around. empty? That is, true. Herman, yeah. uh, that is true. Smart name. kids, huh? <laughs> kids. Yeah. Well, they, they figured that one out. That, yep. was, that was small when they did that. that uh, <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, uh, uh, a couple of things I'm pissed off about. I'm pissed off at NASA. They're not going back. They can't get nothing right. They can't. Uh, you know something? I suddenly looked at a thing. Have you ever seen a, um, a video of the shuttle taking off when they would put the shuttle on the back of something and send it up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same goddamn rocket. Yeah, yeah, but the, the, it's the, the same goddamn rocket. They didn't oh, reinvent oh, the rocket for this. You want the, you want it to blow up like the Challenger did? No, I want them to invent a new one that won't. But, yeah, they're using the old that old technology, so it should be slam dunk for them. I think it's from the the uh, Saturn rocket program or something like that. It's really yeah, it's, old. it's an old Saturn. Yeah, they're forty year old uh, rockets. Yep. And and I saw it and I went, gee, that looks vaguely familiar. All they did was put the thing on the top, and that's no, it. They got all of that from the Russians. That is actually Sputnik technology that really? they used. You know. No. Me, me. Anyway, uh, it will it will pass by that joke. Let's just let it go, okay? It's. Uh, I'll let them describe it. No, but I'm just pissed because I was looking forward to it. I know that uh, that uh, Kevin was. Kevin and I were talking about it online. We were waiting. We, he got up early to see the thing take off, and then it didn't take off. So then the next uh, Saturday, they were going to have it take off, and again, same problem. What's, Better with, safe what's, than with, sorry. what's with NASA, Kevin? Are they just incompetent? Uh, no, I, I... I don't know, but they don't, they don't know how to handle cryogenics and the little shit that they were screwing up. I used to use every, do every day. I don't understand how they're screwing it up. Yeah. So why do those seals leak, Kevin? Because they're I, I don't know. Is the material they're using, or they're just not they're not pre cooling it correctly. They're not they're not thermally cooling it correctly. Mm -hmm. oh. And I don't understand why. They can't do it because you know typically when they when they fuel those things they they have to do it slowly. Yeah. And that the portion of that engine, and I'm not an engineer or nothing, so don't take everything I say is right. But it's an eight-inch line, so it's you know this big, and there's a seal inside the connection that's that's the overflow. And when they get to that point, because that part of the engine is the last part that has to be fueled, they fuel that thing for seven or eight hours before it gets there. And it has to be cooled slowly so that that, you know, contracts and then expands so it, or expands and then contracts so that it will seal. Mm -hmm. Right. It seems that it gets to that point that they haven't gotten it well enough, cold enough to where it has done its contraction and expansion. To where it's sealed and when it gets to that point and that cold liquid hits it it's not sealing and then they get to that point where it won't seal and it's never going to because it's so damn cold it's frozen and it's in the it's in the shrunk state and it won't 
Is it's that a similar expand. technology to like the hydrogen cell cars where uh, they? No, not? no, because it's not liquefied. The, the The hydrogen cell cars are gaseous. Uh, it's warmed up. It's warmed up liquefied hydrogen, basically, is what those are. And meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, you know, uh, I, it's, it's, I, I, if I had my if I had my money to, to bet it. on anybody, I'd bet on Musk before I bet on NASA. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. What's the difference between Musk's technology and the NASA technology? Well, begin with, they're not using hydrogen. They're not using hydrogen. They're using what did we say it was liquefied kerosene. Pro, well, pro they're problem. using kerosene. I think kerosene was one of the things they were trying, but basically they're trying to go for uh, uh, helium, is it? Does that sound right? Exactly. Helium is not, helium's not flammable. Yeah, helium. No, you, you were saying it was methane, and I looked it up and it said it was liquefied kilo, uh, kerosene. Hmm. But there could be a byproduct of the liquefied kerosene that creates methane. I don't know. Yeah, Charlie but I think, I think it's methane. And uh, it said liquefied. It said and the, liquefied one of the reasons they propellant. once they one of the reasons they want to use methane or get methane to work is because if they go to Mars, they can mine for methane, and so they can create enough uh, uh, fuel to get them back into orbit. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's Plus one that, of the reasons. It's a waste gas too. Yes. Yes. Well, isn't that the gas that everybody is uh, is up in arms about, uh, that it's uh, polluting the Earth? Yeah. Global warming, yeah. Yeah. But, you know. That's part of, you know, that's part of, uh, those are the kind of gases that they like to uh, capture off of, you know, waste plants and stuff, and they'll use that to power cars as well. They should put a big well, tent over Harris yeah. Ranch. But anyway, yeah, uh, really. uh, that's uh, what they're trying uh, to do. I'm hoping that Got you know he. Cow farts. I'm 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 hoping that he gets that uh, you know that super rocket he's got up, and and beats uh, NASA to the punch. And you know who's going to beat them all to the punch if we don't uh, get going really fast? Russia or Korea? Tell, tell no no yeah. tell them tell them uh, uh, Charlie. China. China. Chinese, yeah. Yeah, the Chinese. Uh, uh, what? Phil, what kind of space program do you think the Chinese have? Well, instead of methane, they're uh, using... No, no, I'm, not, I'm asking you a real <laughs> question. <laughs> I'm sure they have a very advanced uh, uh, program. Well, they well you see, brilliant, but, you, but you don't know. Brilliant but you engineers. Don't, but you don't know, and you should know. Well, Ask Tony. They're Tony, using Tony, fat Tony, chicken fat. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Tony, the, the, he'll come the, up with something. To, the Chinese do. space program. Do you have you heard about it, Tony? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, you're no. Tony. No, I haven't really heard. The only thing I know about Chinese is the food. That's it. Seriously, I really didn't read on it. <laughs> okay. What kind of food? <laughs> Anybody here know what the well? Of course, Charlie knows yeah, what one the from Chinese. Column A. Oh, no. <laughs> column A. Do, you, do any of you know that the Chinese already oh, have a, have a a, um, a rover uh, on the far side of the moon? Yeah, I've heard. I heard that. Yeah, it's a rover. A rover. <laughs> uh, go get some food with uh, with uh, t uh, Tony here. Uh, <laughs> Tony. Uh, uh, the, the, they actually have a, and, and mm -hmm. you know, you do know they have a space station, don't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, but they want to claim the moon as China. Well, if they say if they get there first, they're going to claim it. And I'm saying, but we you weren't the there first. first. We were. And they said we signed some, some document saying that whoever gets there, it, that nobody can claim anything. Nobody can moon. claim space as theirs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you could get up there and go, hey, we're in space now. We claim all of space. Well, Isn't come on. Is that where uh, Trump's space police come in handy? The Space Force? Yeah. Space, space Force. Force. Space I haven't force. heard much about the space. Oh, there's they they're, they're, yeah, no, they're I around. Wonder why. No, I no, why. wait a minute. No, yeah, hold on really. a second. They're around and they're <clears throat> they're viable and they're doing some stuff. And uh, uh, it was simply an outgrowth of uh, I believe <laughs> some force, part, maybe? part no, well, part of the Air Force, some department in the Air Force, <laughs> and they simply started mm -hmm. calling it the uh, the Space Force. Yeah, and there's it's actually bases down in California. Yeah, yeah. it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Like Edwards or uh, yeah, there's there's one down there by Edwards. Edwards, I think. The yeah, this 
picture Wait. behind me is uh, is close to Edwards. Do you want to know something? I'll tell you something. You know, you know who set our whole space program back and just wouldn't give any money to it? Which Obama. Pro- Obama. Yeah. Yeah. Really? He was anti uh, space exploration. Did he, didn't he shut down NASA? Yeah. Yes. Well, he shut down uh, the the shuttle program. Yeah. 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 Uh, and Pepper. what what NASA is having to work with now is just the the the, the uh, what's left of the old space program. Oh, hey, we got they, some old use uh, some rockets here. We better use them. You know, they took one of the capsules of the Apollo out of the museum to no, be able to. No, 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 no. This is a <laughs> this is a whole different, you know, thing. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the space. Uh, what do they call? What is? What is? What is? Uh, what is uh, Canaveral is a space what, what is Musk calling his rocket the uh, 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 super something? SpaceX? What? SpaceX. Well, the SpaceX yeah. rocket, SpaceX. but it's called the uh, super shuttle, or it's not shuttle. But anyway, it's a, it's a huge rocket. I mean, it's huge. It could mm-hmm. take 30, 40 people in it if it had to. What's amazing is that it can go up and come back down uh, and and land wrong. On, on Earth. Wrong. You know? yeah. Wrong. Wrong. Well, no, I saw it. Uh, it does do that. No, yeah, no, no. Right. Here's here's what does come back and land. Uh, the um, propulsion system. The the the, the second stage. Yeah. Uh, the third stage uh, may still wind up landing in the ocean. You know, but they he they 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 claim they can bring it back. <coughs> yeah. And uh, it's called the Starship, is what it's called. Uh, and it's it's a magnificent rocket. They've got them down there in Texas, all standing on, you know, doing what they call static fires. They haven't shot one. I think they, have they shot one up, Charlie? I couldn't tell you. I haven't been following it. Yeah. Do you think they're using the same technology to land that that they do with drones? Now, I've never had a drone. No. I've never operated one. Yeah. You know the uh, the no it, it, no you, you press no. a button and it no. comes back to home. Uh, no, but it is using GPS. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's using GPS uh, to get it back right on these launching pads. I mean, they've got a circle on the launching pad or the the retrieval pad. Some yeah. ma- many of them are in the water, and it it lands right in that circle, and they've done. I think they've returned 150 of them back to Earth now, without an incident. Did they lose any of them? No. In the beginning, Not, yes. In the beginning, uh, uh, yes. A couple of them fell. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a few of them, yeah. But ever since they got them working, mm-hmm. it's like easy peasy, you know? Yeah, I didn't realize Cape Canaveral is actually called the Space Force Station. Really? Now, wasn't that Cape Kennedy? Didn't they... Wasn't it called Cape Kennedy? Cape Canaveral? Yes, it was Cape Kennedy Cape for a while, and then it went back to Canaveral. <laughs> when they they one refers to the actual facility, and the other refers to the whole island or whatever it is. Yeah. So Cape Canaveral is the name of the whole island or the name Cape of the facility? Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida. Yeah. Really? In December 2020. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got you. Got to you. Got to hand it to Trump. At least he had an idea there, and he was kind of for us being in space, you know. Yeah. So I can't fault him on that. But then again, I wa- stop a, a, a stopwatch is right yeah. twice a day, you know. So that's right. That's right. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think Trump ought to be the first mountain. to go to Pluto. What? I think Trump ought to be the first to go to Pluto. Actually, I, Pluto's, Pluto's not a planet anymore, is it? Well, that, that's because of Nick DeGrasse De, De Tyson, planet. Just who, said who said it's not a planet anymore. So they said, okay, it's no longer a planet. Actually, it, it technically, them. it may actually really be a planet and far more livable, believe it or not, than uh, any of the other planets in the solar system are, besides Mars. Only minus 400 below zero? Well, it's really cold. That's why it's perfect for him. He's, he's, got, he's, he's cold. Yeah, but I mean, it... it uh, He'll uh, make some methane. Pluto's a very interesting planet. It's a very interesting planet. Yeah. And uh, they have some some fil- they have some footage on it, you know, and what it looks like, and, and so on. Uh, but uh, 
Uh, I think that uh, I, I just think that it's going to be interesting the whole Mars thing. I think we are going to Mars eventually. Not, probably none of you guys or me will be alive to see it, but uh, it's it's going to happen. Are and, we still getting any pictures from that uh, sp uh, space capsule that they sent to out of the galaxy? You know, past. Uh, yeah, they just oh, took oh, pictures oh, the other oh, day. Oh, yeah, it's still battery. going. You mean uh, 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 Voyager I one and two? A Voyager. I'm sorry. Voyager. Is that it? Uh, yeah, they, and there's and it's and it's supposed to go out of our uh, solar system. It's already gone out. Oh. Yeah. What's the one the other day that that took pictures of uh, of Saturn and sent it to us? Oh. That one I don't know. You know, there are there are maybe we had several the, probes go to Saturn. Yeah, yeah, but no, a Voyager is way past uh, the, our solar system now, yep. and it's still sending back signals. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. And it's something like what, forty years old, Charlie? Yeah, it launched in 1977. I remember in the first Star Trek movie, which was the worst Star Trek movie. Yeah. Uh, the name of the uh, they keep hearing about this alien being called Viger. Yeah. And it turns out that uh, aliens out past the solar system uh, took pity on this wayward machinery that had some of its uh, name rubbed off of it, and it was really Voyager, right? Remember that? That was the yeah. plot of the movie. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, but uh, no Voyager had one and two, uh, and I think what happened? They set up one, and they sent up two, and then mm -hmm. two surpassed one on its voyage. So. I think that actually, one that's yeah, supposed to be around. Yeah. What'd you say? They actually the launched Voyager 2 first. Really? And then they launched oh. Voyager 1, but Voyager 1 was on a faster trajectory, and so it actually passed. And, oh, and okay. Jupiter and Saturn and all those planets months ahead of Voyager 2. I and got it wrong. Charlie it got it right. So, so the one going to Saturn that's taking pictures is called Cassini. Cassini, ah, okay. Yeah. Cassini, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I heard of that. Yeah. The one that's supposed to catch mm -hmm. asteroids is supposed to deploy this month sometime, isn't it? You mean hemorrhoid three? I don't know <laughs> what it is. It's supposed to open up and catch an asteroid or something if it's coming towards us. Yeah. Yeah. Catch a rising star. I, uh, <laughs> it's supposed to do it in October sometime, October, November. Yeah. Yeah, it launched a few months ago. Yeah, that part of the space program is going great. The, the robotic or, or unmanned ships. That's the one. The New Horizons is the one that got the pictures of uh, Pluto that Alex is talking about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've done some amazing things, but when you get getting back to China, these guys are kicking ass. They're sending <coughs> they're sending people up all the time. They got three people on the space station. It's a still a very small space station, but they have more modules going up, and they have it so it's all modular. They just get hooked together, hooked together, hooked together. And uh, the Russians, who are giving up on uh, the International Space Station, are going to go in with the Chinese on theirs. You can yeah. get Chinese food in the space station. Well, also, it's a, it's a brand new facility. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's new, it's modern. It's you know, clean, man. The ISS must smell something horrible. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the you look at our education here, and uh, most people can't read past the sixth grade level. We we have uh, you know very very poor math and science scores, but you go the Chinese, uh, they they emphasize education and yeah, but that's uh, not the uh, reason why the space program exists and well, exists you have a lot of no, engineers no, no here's the reason why you have a country in which you have one leader okay and if he says i want us going to the moon next week That's you're going true. to the moon next week and every amount of the amount uh, amount of money you need to do that and every mind you need in that country to do it is aimed at that very idea okay? you could have had that with trump oh really yeah, he offered it up. One leader, you know, the, what I say goes. All I'm saying is, shot. no, there is an efficiency in the way the Chinese run their government because there's nobody sits around all day long arguing about, 
oh well we're, we can't give money to that and we can give money to this no well, you just give money to it otherwise you know you're on the outs i can see that my theory is wrong about mm -hmm all the education and that's why China has been able to have the space program because if that was correct the Indians would have had space shuttles you know, they actually they are working on one yeah. right now yeah but they produce a lot of engineers have, you know? they, wait, have they sent up uh, they've sent up rockets haven't they Charlie the, the, they've launched uh, satellites and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah well uh, I think what you guys need is Werner von Braun to come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Werner von Braun. World War II leftover. Well, mm. you know, I mean, yeah, it, the good good. part about it is, yeah, is that without, without Werner von Braun, we would have not had a decent space program. That's right. Uh, and uh, without Werner von Braun, we'd have a few Jews, more Jews in this world than we do now. You know, yeah. was he was he instrumental in the V two rocket? Yes, yes, uh, yeah. yes that was his. He developed it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And uh, after the war was over, uh, he was working at Pinamunde. How do I remember these things? I can't. You know, I can't remember my name, and I can remember Pinamunde. What, what is that? Uh, and, and they well, they had this rocket, this whole rocket thing at Pinamunde. Uh, and that's where they came up with the V two and the uh, what was the one that was a buzz bomber. They came up with that one too. Yeah. When he, when the war was over, he some of the some of the uh, Pinamunde scientists went to Russia, and went with Russia, and then Werner von Braun and some of his scientists went to the came to the United States to work with the United States on building rockets, and they started basically just sending up what looked like V two rockets, you know, mm -hmm. in the very beginning, but mm -hmm. he did have he did know a lot about you know, about space and about, you know, sending up rockets and propulsion. And and we would have never gotten to the moon if it hadn't been for Werner von Braun's early work in the United States. Mm -hmm. now, the but Nazis, he was, he was a Nazi. There's no yeah, question about Yeah, the Nazis about. were working on the atomic bomb uh, prior to the end of the war, and we were able to... They weren't even it. close. No, they weren't I know, even but close. didn't we capture no. its technology? No, that was the Ampex tape machine, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. really, truthfully. Uh, yeah. No, they did. We weren't using their technology at all. We, right. we had, you know, um, uh, scientists working here in New York at the Manhattan Project building a bomb. And they had one, the one of the greatest minds around in, in Albert Einstein. Well, they brought Albert Einstein, it's an interesting story, they brought Albert Einstein the plans for the atom bomb. And they wanted to know from him an answer to one simple question. Will it Trump work? It. Will it work? Yeah. And, I, and Einstein looked at the papers and they said back to them, yes, it will. <laughs> and later on, after it was finally exploded in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and you know, fear of the atom bomb became the order of the day. Somebody asked him, why knowing what this bomb could do, didn't you say no? Because if he had just said no, there'd be no atom bomb. Yeah. And he said, because I didn't think anybody would be stupid enough to use it. <laughs> now, I, I, yeah. I used to... I used to do, uh, there's a place uh, called the EG&G &G building, and it was in uh, San Ramon, it belonged to Teller, uh, and I thought that he a lot of... was right across uh, the street from where Penn lived, yeah. Yeah, uh, not Penn and Teller, uh, uh, Ed, Edward <laughs> Teller, I think. Uh, uh, isn't that where they uh, d uh, did a lot of work on developing the, uh, oh, it was the hydrogen bomb there, right? We have the Livermore Labs. Yeah, well, it was next to Livermore Lab, and that was the... Uh, uh, was it Edward, Edward Teller? Was he the guy that developed the hydrogen bomb? Yeah, he was the physicist. Yeah, Edward Teller. Yeah, um, and he was yeah, part we, of the Manhattan Project. Teller was. Why is yeah. it, Charlie, that we don't hear? You know, we heard a lot in the old days about the hydrogen bomb, atom bomb, yeah. hydrogen bomb, and you even saw ex pictures of explosions of hydrogen bombs. I mean, they were massive. They, there's, yeah. a, there's a wonderful film if you ever have a, tr a chance to watch it called. Trinity, uh, uh, called, uh, oh, well, what's it called? Some of the Day After <clears throat> Trinity. Was and that the one that was filmed in Nevada? No, Phil, let me no. finish and I'll tell you, okay? Yeah, okay. Don't try to show how smart you are because you'll wind up showing how dumb I'm, you I'm are. I'm just curious. But anyway, um, 
Uh, it's called uh, Trinity, uh, the, uh, the Day After Trinity or something like that. And, uh, but anyway, uh, it is for an hour and a half, narrated by William Shatner, one atom bomb explosion after another. The, all the atom bomb explosions that they did for, say, I don't know, 50 blasts or whatever, and they give the, the amount of fission and so on, they got massive. Okay, they were just absolutely massive. The first one, the one we dropped on Hiroshima, was a pea shooter. Yeah. Compared to the stuff we were doing out in the Pacific, we were blowing whole islands into non-existence. You know, and... Um, uh, 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 it, just to see all these bombs one after another and you just mesmerizing just mesmerizing you probably find that film somewhere That's anybody here seen it at all um, no I thought I, I would have so. thought Charlie had seen it you know no I haven't seen that one I think Trump's parents were on one of those islands <laughs> afterwards <laughs> after the bomb went off and then then they Maybe. had to, then they had got pregnant and, and look at what we got uh, could you mind diagramming that joke for us? Can you spell <laughs> idiot? <laughs> Forget it. Can't even explain it myself the way I want it. Yeah, when you have to diagram them, they're not worth telling. Okay. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I mean, uh, you know, I mean, um, um, but why we blew these seller. things up? You also sit there watching it and going, hey, haven't you learned once this thing works? You Is know? that the atolls in uh, the Mar in the yeah. Marshall Island? Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, bikini, bikini. Yeah, yeah. In the islands. Yeah. Uh, bikini tests, and they pull them all one after another. Then they showed the Russians. And they, what they did is they had soldiers on horseback riding into this cloud. They didn't care. They, didn't they were care. Ukrainians. <laughs> yeah. Why does everything have to be a joke and not a yeah. good one? And not a good one. Yeah, well, you know. There are no funny Ukrainian jokes, by the way. And okay. I'll have you know that right now. I mean, if you're going to come up with a funny one, I'll entertain it. But I don't think there are any funny. Well, you know, I, I thought it was. You know, if your boy Trump were alive, he'd be on the side of the Russians. You realize that, don't mm -hmm. you? Alive? Huh? You know, uh, believe me, he's going to be your next president. Wait a minute, you said he was last week. How much Wait, money are you are you willing to put on that? Film? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not willing to bet on that one. How much? But really? I'm, I'm I was willing to bet, and I got a hundred dollars with uh, your friend Larkin on uh, Trump being jailed. Yes, that one's. Oh, I yeah. think you'll still be. Jailed. Well, I don't know if I'll bet on that because this country is such pussies when it comes yeah. to something like that. They Trinity may never do. Trinity and beyond was that it? <clears throat> what? Yeah. Trinity and beyond. Yeah. Trinity and beyond. Yeah. That's what it's called. Uh, and it's a, it's really, it's a fascinating film to watch, because yeah, after. Uh, Peter Curran directed it with William Shatner. Yeah. Edward Feller. Is it on YouTube? Yeah, I see it on IMDb. Oh. Edward Teller was still alive when they. I'll did see that? if I can find it on YouTube. And yeah, and it's on it. YouTube too. An hour and twenty-one minutes. Yeah, and you ah. just watch these bombs going off, and you're going, Edward. number one, this is fascinating. Okay, but secondly, are we nuts? You know, yeah. are we crazy? We're trying to get bigger and bigger bombs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when we got bigger and bigger, what did we do? We actually got smaller and smaller. We now the the nuclear devices we talk about today have changed. What? And, but you're willing to allow the Iranians to have a nuclear bomb, and uh, the North Koreans and and a bunch of other uh, countries that uh, harbor terrorists. Uh, but uh, you know, and Russia. Look how many thousands of warheads. Wait, they wait a minute. Hold on a second. In the United wait, wait, States. Wait, wait, wait. Who is who are we allowing? Uh, the Iranians. In well, 10 why years, do, Why should we have any word about whether they yeah. have one or not? Well, I don't think the world should allow. No, no wait a minute, Phil. Have. Phil, then why should we have one? Obviously, yeah, we we're shouldn't. we're totally irresponsible because we blew off two of them on a human population. Well, we we shouldn't, but and we we're unilaterally uh, removing them. Uh, that you know between Russia and the United States, but why have other countries 
now be armed with nuclear warheads. So where was Edward, Edward Teller from, Phil? What I thought he was from Livermore. Uh, yeah, hung, hung, he was Hungarian. Oh, and no, when, no. Well, they eat, and when did he die? You were worried about that he died right after. No, I said when did he die? Was he alive when that movie was made? That's of what course, I asked. Because he died in 2003. There's uh, there's Brian and his lovely daughter Adrian, who every time we see her, she's mm. older. Yeah, and taller. Look, she's almost as tall as me now. Can, can you still? Can <laughs> look, you look, look what she came in? She came in the office watching. Show him. Show him. No. Show him. No. You're wa you were watching us, weren't you? Yeah, she's watching. She was watching us. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She says, is that you guys right now? I said, yeah. You don't have parental co controls on that one. <laughs> I do in about five minutes. <laughs> now, you used to pick her up and lift her up and so on. Do you still do that? Can you still do that? Heck no. Yeah. <laughs> I tell her, she's downstairs, she falls asleep. I say, you fall asleep when I wake you up. You have to walk all the way up oh. the stairs. But you must, be, you must be scaring the hell out of her because the hair is turning gray. Yeah. And it's, you know. Can you talk? Can you say hello? Can you tell Alex that we have a, a gift that we're going to send to him tomorrow? Yeah? We, we went to an arts, <laughs> uh, Alto arts festival, yeah. and we found a gift he wanted to get you, so I got it. So we'll, oh. we're get, we'll send it tomorrow. Okay. Uh, ask some drawings. <laughs> I want to look yeah. like. Oh, there's your kitty. There's your kitty. Yeah. Marjorie wants us to get a cat. Two cats. Rescue yeah, cat, right? Yeah, and I said to her, number one, what's going to happen when we die? Okay. Uh, I don't want this cat sitting there looking at me saying, you know, I'm going to be here for a long time after you're gone. And, I, and, and secondly, I don't, uh, who's going to take care of the cats, I said, when we, if we go on vacation? You know. The rats? Who, you know, so um, if she can figure that one out, I'll, I'll get a cat. What, I'll get some cats. I, I love cats. I love them. But, you know, you know what I see on TikTok that I love, though, are these uh, uh, these servals. The servals are just amazing cats. They're the yeah, size Brian of a... and I have a friend with those. They're like the size of a dog, right? Yeah. Huge. They're yeah, huge. a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah, our, our friend has like an outside <laughs> area all fenced out for them. Couldn't like, he go to like Slovakia or something to get those? No, no. I don't know, but one of them was in the hospital at a, when I saw him at a car yeah, show. The, the ner he was a nervous wreck. Like his kid was in the hospital, like going through operation. He couldn't like settle down. He kept calling his wife to see how the cat was doing. Crazy. Can you go near those things? You yeah, know, yeah, I mean, they're, if, they're if fine. Those, Ronnie, have, Ronnie, uh, my, my ex-girlfriend, Xanthi, had one, and Ronnie, my ex-wife, had one. And I used to take care of Ronnie's when she'd have to go away on, on business and things like that. And, uh, you know, just They fine. look like wild animals. They do. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. They're very beautiful. They're part jungle <laughs> cat and they're part uh, domesticated oh, the cats. Are cool too. The Bengals, the Bengalis, yeah. Another yeah. breed that's just, you know, I don't even want a Chihuahua because they're too aggressive. In fact, the Bengalis I call the TikTok cats because everywhere you go on TikTok, they're the Bengalis, you know. Uh, do you ever see cats on uh, on on TikTok, uh, Adrian? Some. Yeah. You ever see Bengalis there? Bengalis. Yeah. She said, "I heard you say wrong to somebody on here." See this guy right here. This guy's always wrong. <laughs> oh, he even knows the way. That's good. Yeah. 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 But do you see? Look, look what Charlie has on this. Look at that terrible, <laughs> ugly star on his. Yeah. What does your teenage t uh, the t-shirt say today? Uh, it's a cowboy, Dallas Cowboys. Oh, is that it? Oh, Cowboys. okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> he had this last starts moment. On, actually, it starts tomorrow night, but yeah. yeah. Sunday. What is that uh, you have there, Kevin? 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 What is that? Is that 40? What? Uh, I didn't 49ers. Say Kevin yeah. had a 49er yeah. cooler thing. Cooler. Okay. Hey, listen, thank you, Phil. Good. Nice of you to stick around tonight and, and allow us to make fun of you. You know. I got to go to the gym in the morning. I'll get rid of the aggression. Uh, and uh, thanks to uh, th thanks to Alan for being here. Uh, Charlie, always a pleasure. 
absolute Thank pleasure. Uh, Kevin, good to have you here. Brian, you and your pet monkey there. Uh, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. And uh, <laughs> he's looking in the chat. Yes. Yeah. So uh, and wrong to fill in the chat. Yeah, and also uh, everybody in the chat, right? Hi, Adrian, right now. Anyway, uh, and Hi. also where, where, uh, 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 Tony, thank you. And thank you, Jeff. Okay. Everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye? And I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. That's our show for tonight. Uh, and we'll be back again. There's nothing next after me. Uh, uh, eventually, we are going to have uh, Jack back, but it's still a couple of weeks away. Uh, in the meantime, I will play an old Jack show, or we'll actually we'll play the show that uh, Josh did on Friday. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see you again, uh, you know, tomorrow night at 10:30, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>